yo, what's up, YouTube world? It's your boy Monte back with another video. Hey, first off, before we get into this video, I want to let y'all know how much we appreciate over here at Raw Trucking. The support that you've been giving to the channel is very overwhelming. We do this for the people. We do this for y'all. So I'm glad y'all enjoying the content. All right. So for those of you who haven't been to the channel before, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and click on that button. Show us some love for all the value that we're giving out there. Okay. So look, today I want to get to a quick topic. I ain't going to hold y'all here long, but I want to speak on something that's very important. Uh, and this is coming from an owner perspective as well as an insurance agent. All right. Now, there's a couple key things that I see that's going to hold drivers back from becoming either an owner operator or getting a higher paying company driver position in the future okay the number one thing that i see the most is that mvr record hey for all my drivers out there you guys deserve to be able to control your own destiny okay but you hurt yourself tremendously when you do not protect your cdl with your life okay now you may be thinking hey i'm with this company right now they're treating me bad this that and the third so you use as an excuse to shortcut and do other things that you know yeah it's gonna hurt the company but it's gonna hurt you as well okay i see this all the time i have people that come out and fill out insurance applications excited about getting their authority started um and they didn't even mention the fact that they have all of these violations on their mvr okay this is very important because when it comes down to uh, getting your insurance quote, obviously the driving record is one of the most important things. All right. So if you're overlooking this, thinking you're just going to be able to slide by, this is going to drastically decline your chances of becoming an owner operator. Or like I said, getting that high paying company uh, driver position, because look, the more the pay is, the more stipulations they're going to have on hiring. OK, you got some companies that need a certain amount of years of experience with no more than a couple violations in that three years. Because, see, what people don't understand is it's not the company themselves that's hiring you or in the owner operator perspective, those that will be giving you uh, the chance to get your authority. What controls all of this is insurance. OK, you can want to hire a guy all you want. You can want to become an owner operator all you want. But if you can't afford the insurance or they just flat out tell you no which happens a lot family i could tell you guys story for days i've had people especially those who want to invest passively and they don't really know enough about trucking so they're thinking okay well i got a good friend that's been driving for years but what they don't know is that good friend has seven points on their license okay and for those of you who don't, who don't understand what that means for every violation that you accumulate when you're a CDL holder, whether you're in a commercial vehicle or you're in your personal vehicle, they amount to points. OK. And once you get to a certain amount of points, you basically become in. Uh, you can't be insured. They're going to just flat out tell you, hey, we can't hire this driver. So now if you're an owner op, uh, well, you're a prospective owner op. And now you just quit your company job. Uh, you went and bought your first truck. And now it's time to get insured and you got four or five points on your license, which just doubled your premium. All right. Can you afford that? Most guys cannot. Even if you can afford the down payment, that monthly overhead is going to kill you. OK. And you would think it's common sense for guys. You went through all the work to get your CDL. You know, that's just the beginning of your journey. You need to protect that thing with your life. Every day I see guys and they need help. They're trying to get me to get them out of a bind. But as an agent, we can only do so much. We're just your um, representative. Think of it like a lawyer. We give you the best advice, but we can't go and change the laws. You get what I mean? We can only help you navigate through them. So if you're coming in with the MVR that's all jacked up, you just, you just decrease your chances by over 50% of being able to get in this business and be profitable. All right, so that's the number one thing, guys. Protect that MVR with your life because you never know what the future may hold. You may miss out on a position that's paying well over 100,000 a year because you did little petty things that caught up to you on your MVR. All right, so that's first and foremost. Protect your MVR, fellas and ladies. That license is literally your livelihood, okay? so. 
The second thing I see that stops guys from becoming owner operators is not understanding the business side of trucking. You may be the best driver known to man, but if you don't take the time to get some proper education about how the business side works, you are already putting yourself at a disadvantage. All right, there's a lot of other moving parts in trucking besides actually uh, progressing the load. Even though obviously that is the most important, none of that happens without understanding the back end. You need to understand the broker's responsibility, a dispatcher's responsibility, all the different compliance uh, requirements, not only federally, but within your state jurisdiction. OK, these are things that you should be learning and investing in before you take the leap to go become an owner operator. I see so many guys with great driving experience, but the simple ABCs of business, they don't understand yet. All right. So just because you know how to drive, that is only a, a, a portion of what it really entailed to be out on your own. Before you go get a lease purchase, before you go become an owner operator or go lease on to somebody, make sure that you understand the business side of trucking. All right. Because simple stuff that guys overlook can be the detriment of your company. You may be willing to work hard as you can possibly uh, fathom, but if you don't consider these business tactics that are very important in trucking, because in trucking, the net profit is literally uh, the lowest out of a lot of businesses out there, all right? And the only way that you can maneuver through that is having proper knowledge of this business, okay? So that's the second thing that stops uh, drivers from becoming owner operators. The third and last thing is your credit, your personal credit, as well as and or having savings built. This is why that matters. They don't care how much driving experience you got. Of course, it definitely helps when it comes to financing a truck. But in the business world, trucking is a high risk industry. So getting startup loans and all of that, you, the average person is not going to be able to obtain that being a brand new owner operator. OK, so your personal credit is what's going to literally carry you through the beginning stages of your company. OK, now, even if your personal credit isn't the best, if you're good at saving and you've built up a nice savings account that can help you as well. Now, that doesn't mean that you still shouldn't put the proper dedication towards your credit because it's going to help you a lot. Trust me, it's going to help you a lot because we haven't even see a lot of people. All they think about is getting the truck. But guess what? You still got to get a trailer. All right. The trailer can be the hardest part in most times. And that's what's never discussed. All right. And when you want to go finance that trailer, of course, you're not going to have business credit already. So your personal credit is going to be used as what's called a personal guarantor. All right. To help you get some of this financing on equipment without having to cash out every time you look around. All right. It's going to affect you with factoring. It's all, the personal credit is also going to affect you when it comes to getting your insurance quote, believe it or not. All right. So personal credit and having some savings built up is another thing that a lot of new owner operators skip because you can have the greatest plan in the world. But what if in your first month you get hit with a seven thousand dollar repair bill? All right. So, you know, as people who are entrepreneurs, we always like to think of the, the best case scenario. But the truth is. In business, you can never plan for the what ifs because the type of what ifs that you're going to experience, you 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 don't have enough experience to even know to have planned for that. You see what I'm saying? So personal credit helps alleviate that because now if you can go get a credit card that you ten, fifteen thousand dollars that you decide that you're only going to use for the trucking company, that'll take you a long way. That seven thousand dollar repair now just came off of your credit card, which you can pay back at a later date which continues to build your personal credit. And of course, over time, you're going to be establishing your business credit. That takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. All right. So, you know, like I said, guys, I just wanted to come with a real quick video. Just give you the top three things that I see that hold drivers back from becoming owner operators or getting higher paid uh, driving positions. Uh, so, of course, even if you're a company driver, you know, be thinking of the future. If you know owner op is the way to go for you personally, then make sure that you are covering all of these steps that I just mentioned. Protect your MVR. All right. Learn the backside of trucking. Learn the business end. Learn dispatching. Learn what brokers do. Learn compliance. Do all of these things before you get started. And lastly, get that personal credit up to the moon. All right. 
it will save you. OK, and if your credit isn't where it needs to be, you need to be saving as well as putting some of that savings toward fixing your credit. Uh, that's a whole other video. There's plenty of credit experts out there. Go out there and get you some information. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, this is Raw Trucking with another video trying to help out the community. Thank you guys for your time and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.